Hey beautiful people, it's your girl Leek back with another Wash and Go Wednesday. Go ahead and cue that intro so we can get into it. Hey beautiful people, it's your girl Leek with all things Leek the Nail Geek. If you're new, go ahead and scroll over to the bottom right and click that logo to subscribe. And if you haven't followed me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, do so. All things Leek the Nail Geek or at Leek the Nail Geek. And if you're not new, welcome back. I truly appreciate your support. Thank you for supporting your girl. I'm going to be using these two products from Curlsmith. That's the oil and cream, which is a leave-in. And I'm going to be using the Curl Defining Souffle. So I'm going to go ahead and section my hair off. Three sections in the front and two sections in the back. I am working on a week old wash and go. I decided I want to do something else with it. Why not a, another protective style, which is a twist out updo today. So you just see me um, putting it into the, the three sections in the front, two sections in the back. Now my hair is tangled up a little bit. I forgot to sleep with my silk bonnet and I have not used my silk pillow. I wanna say maybe three, the last three days. And my hair does not play when it is out and rubbing up against cotton. You know how you sleep, you know. <laughs> it's an issue. What you just saw is what I lost from just finger detangling. Um, so I'm going to start with this first section using that warm water. Get that in there real good. And I'm going to use that um, tangle teaser. Smooth it in the oil. Oiling my scalp as well using Jamaican black castor oil mixed with argan oil, the Moroccan argan oil. Now I'm gonna add that oil and cream by Curl Smith. I'm gonna apply that to this entire section and then I'm gonna make my first part for the first flat twist. And I'm gonna apply the souffle to it, especially to the roots. And then I'm just gonna flat twist it and two strand it all the way down. I'm gonna finger cool at the end and scrunch. I'm going to continue doing that for this entire section. I'm also trying a new view and as you guys can see it kind of has me like a little robot kind of. I'm a little robotic. <laughs> so um, comment down below what you guys think about this view. Because I'm doing the twist out updo I wanted to check out a new view again for you guys so you guys can actually see the back. But I'm recording from two mirrors instead of actually recording facing me. So now it's, trying, now it's time to work on the back section. I'm getting tongue tied, sorry. Smoothing it out. Also, excuse my face expressions. I am currently watching the new episodes of Search Party, which is on HBO. It's crazy, it's entertaining, it keeps you engaged. Definitely recommend watching it, by the way. Um, let's zoom in. I already zoomed in for this back view. I've done one. I am flat twisting upward. So um, my hair is going to be in an updo. So it's going to be pulled tight towards the um, center. They're all going to be flat twist towards the center. And I wanted to make sure that as I'm pulling it, there's no tension on my natural hair. So that's why you'll see me flat twist towards the ceiling, shall I say, instead of towards the ground. <laughs> And it's basically over, under, over, under as you smooth your fingers through. You don't want to leave um, bunches of hair clumped together. You definitely want to make sure it continues to stay smooth all the way through the flat twist until you get down to the two strand. And now I'm on the last one for this side. As you see, I'm smoothing my fingers through as I'm flat twisting. Like I just stated, you want to make sure you don't have it bunched up. That way it doesn't cause tangles. And you're going to smooth it before you start two-stranding it. And yes, my arms did get tired. I'm not going to lie about that. I'm just going ahead and continue to twist that all the way down. And now I'm going to work on the next section. Rewetting with water. Applying the oils to roots to ends. I'm going to oil my scalp. Now it's time for that oil and cream. I am watching that show. 
<laughs> as you see i'm laughing making faces again excuse my faces because the show is good <laughs> and it's crazy good <laughs> gonna rake that on through get my first part i am checking to make sure that it's the same part on the other side and you see i go over under over under over under over under and then I'm going to flat twist all the way down. I'm sorry, two strand all the way down. I said flat twist. And yes, I rock. <laughs> now the back is completely done. I'm jumping to the front. And I'm going to do this side. Flat twist to the back. The same way I did the other side. That's the oil and cream, applying it to that entire section and then raking it through, which is smoothing it through. Creating that first part. And I'm going to apply the souffle. You can definitely see more on this side than you could on the other. Trying to make sure that part is exactly the way I want it. Now this souffle is actually, it doesn't leave a there's no flaking and it doesn't leave it's a it's a mild hold not really like a strong hold so there's a, a little cast but not a lot and i'm just getting my side burns so i leave my side um burns is like i curl them up so don't judge <laughs> but i like to leave them out make a little curl with that scrunching shaking Make sure my edges are going to lay right with that twist. I got to get them right for the part. Adding that souffle. And I am flat twisting again upward. Two strand all the way down. And I'm only putting the souffle, as you can see, mainly towards the roots. Smoothing that out. Two strand all the way down. And now I'm trying to, I did split screen just so I can try to show you. I thought I had a better view of the back. I am basically taking one side, other side, one side, other side, and twisting it up. And making sure I, when I do twist it, as you see, I'm twirling it the same way it's flat twisted on my finger to keep the form of the twist. Sorry, I had to check my pump. I am a diabetic, as you guys can see, my insulin pump. Um, I'll put the eye above, if you wanna click above to see what it's like with my life as a diabetic. I do have a series on that that I'm creating. But as I'm gathering them, as you see, there you go. I see it right there. I'm twisting the way it's like a retwist to tighten the form of the actual flat twist as I'm gathering the hair for the, the updo. And I'm just going to updo it into a bun once I get all of the pieces of hair in the back that's loose. Now all I have is the front hair. And because these are my front hairs, I did not pull them to the back um, as I was going up. I only pulled them when I got towards the front. Like I said, I don't want to cause any unnecessary tension or friction on my hair. Um, I love my natural hair, but I want to make sure that I keep it. <laughs> so that first bun did not come out right. So all you have to do retwist that around basically i'm just wrapping the hair around each other i'm not going to use any bobby pins i'm not a fan of bobby pins at all i just like to tuck it up under and this is how it turned out i'm loving it now it's time to get the bangs together my bangs are super long <laughs> so i'm just gonna do the same steps wetting it up warm water 
going to detangle it, smooth it out, the tangle teaser, get that oil all the way through it. Excuse my face expressions. There's the leave in. Well, actually, I picked up the wrong one. Then I put the leave in in there. <laughs> the bottles are identical, so sorry about that, guys. Now, for this, I'm actually going to do mini twists in the front for my bangs. And I will use the souffle on the mini twist. I'm just going to section it off and do a row by row. Getting that section out of my way. So I'm going to go ahead and split that section up, smooth it out again. Go ahead and get my mixture of Jamaican black casserole and Moroccan oil, the argon oil to oil my scalp. Smooth that oil down again using the souffle starting at the root smoothing it all the way down to the end and I use less than a dime size for these sections now I'm just going to go ahead and two strand it all the way down as you see your hair is going to start trying to define itself you when you really want it smooth <laughs> so I have to continue to smooth it through with the actual tangle teaser I want to do this for the entire front section. I am adding a little bit more oil as I go down. Just to make sure my ends are very oiled up. To prevent damage because I will keep this style up for about two to three weeks and I'm almost done as you guys can see I did speed it up I am scrunching to get my natural curls to pop back at the end excuse my pump again I have an insulin pump <laughs> my apologies it does go off periodically um, I have a series on my life as a diabetic I'll link that above if you guys want to check out that playlist but my hair is done thanks to these two products I am loving my new style okay these products don't play curl smith never fails now my hair is about 95% dry in this Thumbs up this video guys, comment down below if you're feeling this updo, don't forget to comment and also let me know how you feel about the view I use. Subscribe to my channel, hit that logo, the bottom right, and until next time, bye!